guys, it's Lee, and I am back today with the unboxing of the Universal Yums Yum Yum box. You'll have to excuse my voice. I am not sick. I just lost my voice, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, before I get started, I need to let you know that Universal Yums sends these boxes to me in exchange for these review and unboxing videos, and I don't get paid extra to do the videos. I do, however, have an affiliate link down in the description box below. So if you are interested in signing up or just getting more information, I'd appreciate it if you would use my link. Universal Yums is a monthly international snack subscription box. Every month you get snacks from different countries around the world. But for December's box, they're doing something a little bit special. They've released the Everywhere box. I forgot to mention that Universal Yums has three size boxes, the Yum box, the Yum Yum box, and the Super Yum box. For this month, which is the Happy Holidays Everywhere box, they've included a collection of holiday-inspired yums from up to 13 countries around the world. And when I say up to, it's because it depends which size box you get. So the Yum Yum box has snacks from 10 different countries. I'm so excited to try them out. So every month, you get this card. Normally it has a map of the country or region the snacks are coming from in that box. This is the Happy Holidays box, so it's a nice holiday photo. And then on this side is the Yum scoreboard where you go through the snacks and you decide which one is your favorite, the worst, or the weirdest Yum in the box. Over here is the Yum Shop where you can go and buy these snacks if there's something you really like go check out the Yum Shop and see if it's available for purchase. And then this says, find the holiday snacks. There are holiday snacks and edible decorations from all around the world hidden on the back of this scoreboard. Can you find them? So they're back here. And then there's the great scavenger hunt. Also, every month you get this booklet. It says, Seed season's greetings from everywhere. So here you can scan this QR code to check out some holiday tunes from around the world. Uh, let's see, greetings from everywhere, right now around the world. The Trivia Train is in every book and I love the Trivia Train, it's so fun. Then all of the snacks. Here is a recipe, there's always a recipe, holiday bake off holiday dinners around the world, decorate a Jap Japanese Christmas cake, the left-right game, all of the nutrition facts, and more information about the Yum Shop. All right, let's get into tasting these snacks. First up is salted egg yolk popcorn. Eggs, they're not just for breakfast anymore. That's because in Taiwan, they're the ultimate celebration food. So the salted egg yolk popcorn comes from Taiwan. I'm pretty sure I've had this before. This is what it looks like. It smells really good. I like popcorn. It tastes really good. Um, I don't know if I taste, hold on, let me try again. I don't know if I taste egg yolk in it, but it's really good. I like it. Next up are spicy mustard flavored chips, and these are from the Czech Republic. And I'm gonna just show you the book real quick. What's really nice is you get the snacks, but then you get a little lesson as well about the country where the snacks are from. I love that about this box. This is what they look like, just regular they look like just regular chips. Yeah, I don't like those. First of all, I don't like mustard, but they don't, I mean by itself. Um, but they don't really taste like mustard. I don't know what that is, but I'm not a big fan of that. Next up, this is from the United Kingdom and they are strawberry trifle flavored bonbons. It says a staple of British Christmas. I think they mean the trifle, not so much the bonbons, but I don't know, I've never been to UK. 
This is what they look like. They're in the bag. They smell amazing. They taste pretty good. Um, they're super chewy, which is not something I really care for, but the flavor in this is really good. Next up, this is from France, and these are popcorn flavored truffles. I mean, I don't know how they could be bad. I love popcorn, I love chocolate. Probably amazing, let's find out. This is what they look like. These are so good. That's what it looks like on the inside. Delicious. This next snack is from the Netherlands and it's called Apple Pie Cookies. White chocolate coated bites of Dutch tradition. Sounds like it could be good. This is what they look like. That's really good. I like that. This next snack is from Switzerland and it is a mini raspberry Linzer cake based on a 500 year old recipe. I love raspberry, so can't wait to try it. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like on the inside. I don't like it. I really wanted to like it. The, the raspberry tastes weird to me. Um, but I bet my son would like it. My husband would love this. This next snack is from Greece and it's a nutty yogurt flavored nougat bar. Chewy candy with pistachio and Greek mastic. This is what it looks like. I do love um, pistachios. It doesn't taste like much of anything to me. And I don't know if it's because some of these other strong flavors, maybe it's kind of messed up my taste buds, but it really didn't taste like anything but like sweet to me. So um, it's not bad, it just doesn't taste like much of anything. This next snack is from Spain and it's cava flavored potato chips. And cava is a Spanish sparkling wine. It says, dig into these alcohol-free chips. It says, these chips have a light dusting of popping candy that makes them almost as bubbly as the real thing. Let's try them out. I've never heard of popping candy on chips before. This is just, they just look like chips. That is the weirdest thing. They do taste like wine, and they are like a little sparkling. I don't know how to describe it. It's weird, but it's a weird sensation. But it tastes really nice. Yeah, I like it. It's just a little, it's just a little different. This next snack is from Sweden, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but Julmust and butterscotch gummies. So Julmust is a drink. Hold on, let me get this booklet so I can explain what Julmust is. Julmust is a unique soft drink that became popular in the 1920s when there was talk of a possible countrywide alcohol ban. Julmust immediately caught on as an alcohol substitute and now 45 million liters are consumed every year in December alone. So there you go, that's what Jewel Most is, and we're gonna see what these gummies taste like. So this is what they look like. One of them is Jewel Most, and the other one is Butterscotch. I'm gonna go for this brown one first. I don't know what that was, but it tasted weird. I'm gonna try the pink and white one now. The pink and white one tasted much better than the brown one, but um, 
neither one of them tasted like butterscotch. So I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming the brown one was supposed to be the butterscotch. That's my oven heating up. <laughs> oh, wait. All right, so anyway, I don't know what's what. The pink and white one tastes pretty good. And I just read in the booklet that they're shaped like skulls because they're to die for. That's hilarious. So and then the last snack in the box is from Germany. These are dark chocolate gingerbread bites. These are three layers of cookie, jelly, and persipan. I don't know what that is. It's a fluffy confection made from ground apricot kernels. So there you go. So let's give it a try. This is what it looks like. I love gingerbread. Love it. So let's see what this is. That's what it looks like on the inside. Um, I wouldn't say this is my favorite thing ever. It's not bad, but I wouldn't, you know, go out of my way to choose it. It's interesting and it's really fun to, you know, taste the snacks that other countries really enjoy, which is the whole point of this box. All right, so that's the holiday edition of the Universal Yums box. Don't forget, this is a limited edition box. So if you are interested in it, I would appreciate it if you would use my link down below, an affiliate link, to go over and check it out. The price of the box varies based on the size of the box and the length of the subscription. So it makes more sense for you to just go check it out to see which one you would prefer. I know I say this every time I do an unboxing for Universal Yums, but I do love this box. I love learning about the different countries and getting information about different countries, tasting their snacks. It's so fun. When I travel to other areas, the first thing I want to do is visit a store and pick up some snacks just to see what's there. This box is perfect for homeschooling families to send to your children who are away at college, just to send to your friends as a holiday gift for anyone. Everyone, I think, would love to get this box. And don't forget, I do have a link down below, so go check it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.